It started as an all boys program to prep them to go upstate and work on farms when the farmers went to fight in the wars. We've introduced every little bit ever since then. We try to keep up with the industry to see what's happening, to make sure they're leaving us um, already with the skills needed to either you know do well in college or um, go right into the career that's of their choice. All of this is, um, we call it our POTS. So during the summer, so after your freshman year, um, freshmen for that whole, almost that whole summer, they come to Bound. Half the day they're in class learning about different things, and then the other half they are out here doing chores or working on their plots and different things like that. But the kids basically get to learn how to till the soil, um, how to properly water everything, and take care of like their own plot of land. And it also counts as two science credits when they're done with the year. I am a member of the agriculture program here at John Bound High School, and we have a little animal tour. These are our two horses, our two miniature horses and our donkey. This is Haley, she is the donkey. And these are our two mini horses. This is Aggie and this is Rosie. I've always loved to work with, with my hands, like to do hands on stuff. I learn better of doing it first instead of reading about it. So instead of just doing the regular planet square that they might do, um, they're actually doing it and they, they can predict what the offering is going to look like and then see the results. Well, I took a couple, 12 students to Costa Rica last year um, to visit some cocoa farms, pineapple farms, to see how it's done in other countries. So they, they don't have to stay in a country if they don't want to, but they can still be involved in ag and do it internationally. Uh, one of our students that graduated last year is going into politics and agriculture, so there's so many different career paths they can do.